Hi, welcome to my channel Pack Explains Physics. Now, today we are going to learn one question on projectile motion. Okay, taken from UPS 2010 2000, or 2011 question 2B. Alright, let us read the question together. Water flows out horizontally at the end of a pipe at a height of 52 cm from the floor. Okay, there is a pipe and water flowing out. Okay, if the horizontal distance before it hits the floor is 100 cm as shown in figure 1. Okay, so the horizontal distance is 100 cm. Calculate the velocity of the water at the instant it leaves the pipe. Okay, given the answer 3.03. .03. Okay, so first of all, let us find out what kind of information already given okay so he give a height yeah here you can see height is given okay so uh, height uh, is the is this one okay and this is the height okay uh, the flow the water is flowing down so the height uh, is 52 cm so here this 52 cm give us the uh, displacement in y component since the water is flowing down we can say the sy is equal to negative uh, because the flow water is flowing down so it has a negative y displacement okay next uh, we have um, next we have what if the horizontal distance before it hits the floor is 100 cm so the horizontal distance is 100 cm so horizontal distance of course is um, the horizontal distance of course refer yeah the height refer to the y uh, horizontal refer to the x isn't it the horizontal uh, is uh, 100 cm so this one is the x displacement uh, and it is going to the right if going to the right sx is positive isn't it uh, okay we have a positive x displacement so find the velocity of the water at the instant it leaves the pipe so i want to find the velocity uh, when it leaves the pipe that means the velocity when the water come out just come out uh, the initial velocity yeah we want to find the initial velocity and since the initial velocity is totally in the uh, x component so we can say u equal to ux okay uh, u equal to ux all right uh, let us continue uh, so here are the information uh, already given uh, just now we uh, we learned that the horizontal displacement is uh, positive 100 cm uh, so we can say uh, we put two column we have x and y so the x the sx is 100 cm so it's one meter positive one meter but the sy is going down going down so negative displacement okay so it's a negative 52 cm uh, remember when going down is negative uh, cm convert to meter uh, negative 0 0.52 meter all right and then um, we know that uh, for uh, horizontal displacement it is constant velocity uh, constant velocity that's why ax is zero uh, but for y component it is uh, like uh, like free fall okay it is a free fall motion uh, that's why ay is negative g negative g or negative 9.81 all right uh, and then uh yeah we want to find the ux because ux is u okay ux is u and then for y component uy uy is zero uh, because uh, initially it only has the uh, x component velocity it doesn't have y component velocity so that's why uy is zero okay and then the time for both component is the same uh, okay because they happen x and y component happen simultaneously all right 
Okay, so now let us find, uh, we want to find x, uh, but we don't have, uh, okay, so for x component, we use, we have SUAT, so we can use the formula SWAT, right? So formula SWAT, let's apply the formula. Okay, let's apply the formula. Uh, we have the formula uh, S equal to UT plus half AT square. Uh, okay, uh, but uh, of course, uh, this is X component, so all these are X. Okay, all these are X. Uh, AX is zero, so we can say half AT square is zero. All right, okay. So now we can uh, now we can substitute the information. We can we have SX is equal to one meter, uh, and then UXT UX is U uh, T we don't have. All right. So we want to find T. We don't have T, so we need we need to go to the Y component. Okay, Y component. Y component also S U A T. So we can also use the same formula SWAT. S equal to U T plus half a t square okay uh, but this one all are y component okay or a y component uh, uh, and then one more thing uh, ui is zero so we can cut this off become zero and then substitute all the others information we have uh, sy sy is negative 0.5 equal to half ay is negative g so negative 9.81 and then uh, t square uh, so from here the calculation give us time equal to 0 0.33 second okay uh, we got the time is equal to 0 0.33 so from here we can we can substitute to the x component uh, okay so we can substitute to the x component and what do we get what answer do we get uh, so 1 equal to u time is now equal to 0 0.33 uh, so u will be equal to we divide 1 over 0 0.33 we will get 3.03 uh, meter per second okay uh, it is exactly equal to ux this is the x component velocity and also equal to the initial u velocity uh, remember that because the initial velocity is horizontal horizontal so the Initial velocity is totally only uh, x component velocity. Uh, uh, Uy is zero. Uy is zero. Uh, so, uh, sorry. So, ux uh, ux will be equal to u. Uh, so, we want to find the velocity velocity when it leaves the pipe. That means uh, leaves the pipe. That means the it, it wants the initial velocity, which is equal to ux. Uh, which we got just now equal to uh, 3.03 .03 meter per second okay you understand uh, so that's it about uh, this question hope you understand and uh, you liked uh, the, the explanation uh, if you like maybe you can subscribe my channel okay bye